What up, crypto world? It's your boy Chris Garcia, aka Crypto Godson. I recently set up my own Bitcoin and Lightning Network nodes. So today I'm going to show you guys how you can do the same. So first thing you want to do is go to getumbro.com. Keep it simple and follow all of the instructions on this website. You should have everything you need on this website. In the very beginning, this is this should be all you need. Of course, if you want to dig deeper, there are other resources um, that you can go to, and I will put some below. But today, I'm just going to be focused on the Umbro instructions on in the very beginning of your process. So you can run your personal Bitcoin and Lightning Network node, self-host, open source apps, cut out the middleman, and use Bitcoin to its full potential for free. There's no effort costs other than the cost of the hardware that you have to buy and of course you need to have internet connection and power so here's the dashboard you see here i um you see here i'm 100 synchronized and if you see i do have a balance i was able to deposit some bitcoin and deposit um, some sats into my lightning wallet as well but anyway so once you go to this website basically here they have a little i guess visual you can see the benefit to having Umbro connected to your wallet is that you can obviously, so Umbro allows you to integrate your wallet and the node directly with the Bitcoin blockchain. If you're, if you hold Bitcoin on any centralized exchange or on pretty much any other application or service, your wallet interacts directly with the company server and then the company server interacts with the company's node and then that node interacts directly with the Bitcoin blockchain and all the other nodes. But with Umbral, you, re you remove the company's server and you remove the company's node. So you're running your own node that tells your wallet what your Bitcoin balances are and you're able to send and receive, you know, transactions obviously to and from other nodes. So um, this is, some people like to think that miners are the only people that are on the blockchain, but you, you and I, can create a node that connects directly to the Bitcoin blockchain and two other nodes. So the Bitcoin network is made up of thousands of nodes that verify every single transaction in the blockchain. Some of them mine Bitcoin too, which are miners obviously unlike a mining node, running a non-mining node doesn't require expensive hardware. One of the main benefits of running your own node is that you're able to achieve unparalleled privacy by connecting your wallet directly to your umbral. This ensures that your wallet company can't spy on your transactions or even worse lie to you. So anytime you have an app that you have a Bitcoin balance on, that app basically asks another node. It gives the other node your address. So it's like here, like this is my information. What's my balance? But in this case, when I have my own node, I can self-verify through my node, um, the, the caveat here is obviously some nodes may be malicious and tell you the incorrect balance based on whatever intent they have. And, that, you know, that's just, you know, a risk that's always out there with any decentralized network that p there will be people trying to take advantage of the system. But if you run your own node, you don't have to trust any node that, to trust that they're giving you the correct information. You can verify it, you know, yourself. So. So you can get up and running in approximately five minutes. So you're gonna install the Umbral uh, operating system on the hardware of your choice, which in this case for me was the Raspberry Pi 4. And then after your installation, you open this URL and then you can access this dashboard from anywhere as long as it's connected to your network. So also you will, since it's connected through Tor, it does give you an, an onion address so that if I'm out and about, I can just pull up the onion address and tour and, you know, use, using the onion router, I can access the Umbro dashboard when I'm not connected directly to my Wi-Fi network at home. So you're going to want to click each of these links. They're Amazon links and buy them directly. And in some cases, you may have to like search for different um, options within the, the, the sellers that offer these products. I would buy these directly. The only caveat here is I recommend you guys buy a case that also has a heat sink and fan. So sort of a case kit for the Raspberry Pi 4. And then also if you're like me and you have a Mac or some other laptop that doesn't have a micro SD port, you're going to want to get a USB adapter so that you can connect your <clears throat> micro SD card to this USB and then USB directly to the laptop or computer or whatever you're using. And then from there, 
you should once you get these parts you should go to how to install and um, just make sure you do not buy a kit buy all of the links that it tells you like you know go one by one and literally buy those um, don't try to buy a kit that has all of this which I did and the main thing there is that you want to make sure you get an official Raspberry Pi power supply because if you don't you can have intermittent power issues and you don't want that especially if you're trying to be competitive the Bitcoin node space is very competitive because if you have any downtime that's basically you know that's basically a strike like against you like you want to be as reliable as possible so that you you will look inviting to those that want to route payments through you so that you can potentially earn a profit whenever you take a fee for routing payments first thing you're going to do is download the Umbra operating system just download that quickly then downloading Belina Etcher which is a software that will flash the Umbra operating system onto the micro SD card then you're going to use the adapter to you know put the micro SD card inside the adapter and then the adapter into the computer and next thing you're going to open the Belina Etcher program and it's going to be really simple three clicks you should be able to select the Umbra operating system right here and then next thing you'll select the micro SD card and then you're going to flash you're just going to click that button it's going to flash that file onto the SD card and it should take about 10 minutes just be patient let it do what it does once it's done you take that micro SD card out make sure you put your Pi inside the case before you put the micro SD card into the Pi so like it says here you're inserting the micro SD card in the Pi but the caveat here is if you have a case, put the case on first, then put the micro SD card into the Pi. Next thing here is connect your solid state drive. So connect them and make sure that you turn the on switch on the solid state drive. So on this device, not the Pi, but on the other device you'll have is the SSD, which is the solid state drive. Turn the on switch on. That's what I forgot to do. So I want to make sure you guys don't do the same thing. Then next thing, you're, you're going to have an Ethernet cord. Connect that directly to your internet, your Wi-Fi router, right? I would pre preferably get a long Ethernet cord, so obviously you don't have any limitations with respect to your location. So connect your router directly to the Pi, and make, obviously make sure it's connected directly to your Wi-Fi router. That way you have direct connection to the Wi-Fi, and then you're going to power on your Pi by obviously connecting the power supply to an outlet and connecting it directly into the Pi. If you got one with a fan, you should hear that fan turn on and hear a little bit of noise. And then also you should see some lights right around here near the Ethernet cord where your Wi-Fi connected in. And that's it. So after about five minutes, you should be able to access this URL on any device basically connected to your Wi-Fi. And then you should see this dashboard right here. And the main thing you want to pay attention to is this. This should get to 100% in about four days. For me, it was for four days. It may not be for you, so who knows what it'll be. So once once your node is fully synced, you should wait about another day. And then once that happens, you should be able to start downloading apps and start moving sets around. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Comment below. Join the Telegram group below. Um, DM me on um, Twitter or Instagram. Either of those works well. Um, obviously, the Telegram group is probably the best place to hit me with any technical details. And you can also book me for an hour if you have really end up, you know, um, questions that you have and you want to work through. So um, that's all I have for today. I want to make sure you guys can um, set up your own note if you'd like to. And um, also, I will be dropping other videos as I, you know, evolve in this learning process with my Bitcoin node um, apps. And also just how to route payments, right? I'm still learning how to how this whole app store works within the Umbral dashboard. So without further ado, let's stay healthy and get wealthy.